Okay, here we are today. We're going to be doing a brutal workout featuring my mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, hamstring curls on our hamstring machine. And then we have dumbbells way over there we're going to be doing some stiff leg uh, deadlifts with. So what we're working on today is there's two ways to get muscles to grow. We can do really heavy stuff, which we're going to do on this, which is like a shearing, tearing of the muscle fibers. And then we're going to do high time under tension and pump stuff over there. And that's kind of like, um, it's called metabolic damage. You just pump the muscles full of a bunch of fluid and they get really annoyed. So that burning, pumping sensation. If you do that intense enough, the muscles will respond with growth, assuming you eat enough. Okay, mom. You're gonna start us off. So what we're working up here is we got to a really heavy weight. She's curling up, now she has five, four, three, two, one. Curl, 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 curl. Five, four, three, two, one. It's two, up, curl, 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 curl. Five, four, three, two, one. It's three, up, slow, five, four, three, Two, one, last one. Curl, 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 curl. Now slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, we'll make our way to the dumbbells. So that was our heavy thing. So we have a lot of weight on there. And that was something that was nice and slow and controlled for about 20 to 30 seconds of total time. Now she's going to be doing this for 40 to 60 seconds. So go ahead and start and I'll tell you when you're done. <laughs> you just try to survive. So what we're doing here is we're pairing two hamstring movements. The heavy one we made sure was more of an isolative. And the reason why is because we didn't want her lower back. If you were to do this super duper heavy, um, it wouldn't be bad if you were working on strength or if we were working on multiple areas. But we really just want to kind of work on the hamstrings and glutes. So we didn't want to do a major movement where the back might take over. So we had her do that for a heavy movement so we could work on just slowed eccentrics and really pulling that muscle open. Got 10 more seconds at least. Keep going. So now we're pairing this with something that she can get a pump with, and we're looking for 40 to 60 seconds. So the other one, keep going, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, you can sit down, take a breather. So that one we could do heavy, where it's that shearing, tearing of the muscles. So it was a nice heavy weight that she could barely control. That breaks the muscle fibers down. Then we walk on over. And we do this one for more of a pump effect. And what that does is that gets that muscle burning. Mm -hmm. So now that we've kind of, did it burn? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll kind of play around with some more sets, maybe come back with like a little bit of heavier one. I think she got more weight in her. <laughs> so uh, we'll come back and show you guys another video. Okay, so we did a couple sets uh, just on our own, so we're going to come back and show you the last one. So what we're doing with me kind of helping her lift to the top, uh, that's an assisted rep, and then she's trying to lower it down. So this is so heavy that she can't get it on her own, but she can do the negative, the eccentric on her own. How you do this by yourself is you would curl with both legs, but then lower with only one. So that's how you would do an assisted rep by yourself. However, if you do have a gym partner, uh, have them do what I'm doing. Okay, Mom, we'll have you start, and then we'll show our last set. So she's going to curl as best as she can to the top. I'm going to assist it and make sure she gets up there. Now she goes five seconds on the way down. So she's going to count herself, which I just surprised her by telling her that. <laughs> so come on up. Good. Come on up, Mom. Up, up, up. Now point your feet straight. Get your feet straighter. There you go. Turn this way more. There. She's... But if you, you want to try to keep your feet nice and straight when you're doing these, come on, up, 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 come on, slow, feet straight, straight, straight. The straighter your feet are, the better you're going to work more of the evenness amongst the, the, the hamstring muscles. So that's just a nice little tip there. So come on up, 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 make sure you're breathing. Nice and controlled, hold, nice and slow. So you can see this is the shearing heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. One more. Up, 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 up. Come on. Slow, 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 slow. And excellent job. Yes. So that is the very heavy stuff that tears our muscles apart. So that's one of the ways to get them to grow. Now we're coming over here and we're doing our stiff leg deadlifts, which is the longer time or tension, the more pump effect. And that's the other way to get muscle growth. Now, you can do with your feet straight. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so it's hard to do things right. So let's go ahead and let's get at least 40 seconds in, okay? 
Good, so just focus on that lower glute. So she's focusing on pulling. So this muscle is gonna stretch to let her upper body go down. Now she's gonna pull from there to pull her upper body up. So she's not using her back. She's using right there. That's how you're gonna get kind of that booty shelf, that booty pop thing. So the underbutt, as they call it. <laughs> so that's how you're gonna work that area and not overly beef up your upper glutes or thicken out your lower back. Now, we're talking about this for muscle growth, but it's more so muscle shape, muscle effect. If you eat excessive calories after this workout, you will grow. If you eat in caloric maintenance, you got 10 more seconds. If you eat in caloric maintenance, you will get better, better muscle shape. So whether you grow from this depends on your nutrition. You would train this way, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job, good. So you would train this way, whether your goal was muscle building. Was that miserable? Yeah, this hip. <laughs> yep, so and then that's what we work on for her, yeah. is we have a little bit of a discrepancy in the hip uh, strength, and that's just years, yeah. you know. And um, so what we do is we do a lot of unilateral movements. So today we're doing kind of both legs over there, both legs here, and then um, on our secondary leg day, we do like single leg, like leg presses, we do walking lunges, single leg splits on like our slide board. So we have a lot of other exercises we do to work on those individual hips. So, but this is something like I was saying, is this is something you can use for muscle effect and shape. So what you eat will determine whether you grow or not. So even if you just want to lose weight and you want better shape in your legs, you would still train this way. Okay, this is not a bodybuilder's way to train, only, exclusively. It just depends on what you eat, depends on what effect you get. Okay, so we're going to put together a quad-focused superset like this, and we'll show you guys that. Okay, so here we are for a quad superset. We're going to do some banded uh, leg press. And what we're doing on this is slow to centrics. She's going to tap the safety supports and then blast back up. And we have bands on because it's going to make the quad portion of this mo movement, the driving upward and the lowering at the top, very difficult. But as she comes down, the bands lessen, so it gives her safety at the bottom and a chance to push back up. We're going to be pairing that with kind of frog stance, heel elevated, Goblet hold kettlebell squats. That's a lot of words right there, but you'll see it in a second. So, Mom, our victim, <laughs> let's come on in. And I want you to do five reps with a five count negative. So this one, she doesn't need me to be a partner assisted. She's just going to go very slow and controlled on the way down. She's putting her feet narrow, hip width at the bottom of the plate. That's going to help her focus more on the quad stretch. So then she's going to drive back up. So she does a five count negative. Nice and slow, very good control. She touches the supports, make sure she's not cheating on her depth. Then she would drive back up. And we're doing this, our goal would be to have about 20 seconds of time under tension. So we've talked about the whole idea of this structure is comparing a shearing heavy force on the muscles with a pump force, pump effect. So we only want this to be about 20 seconds. So we would figure out how many reps it takes for her to get about 20 seconds of time under tension for that uh, eccentric portion. So I think she's at five there. Yep, go ahead and rack it up. Okay, so now she's gonna come on over, and we'll go heavier there. So since she was about to do an extra rep, it means I must need more weight on her. So uh, now we're gonna do this goblet hold. What that means is you're just having your, a weight out in front of you. So you're holding your hands like this, and if you pair the other hand, it kind of looks like a cup. So they call it a goblet hold. She's doing awesome. So she has a narrow stance. Our heels are elevated on a 10 pound bumper plate, but you could use five pound metal plates or something like that and she's not locking out at the, at the top. So she's gonna do a pump effect by just staying in constant tension in those muscles. She's never letting the joints lock out. She's gonna make those muscles do work the whole time. So she's really doing a good job of holding in her grimace face. <laughs> so keep going, need more time. We want about 40 to 60 seconds of this exercise. So we have 20-ish seconds of time and attention for the heavy force. Then we have about 40 to 60 seconds of tension for the lighter force. So let's give it 10 more seconds, Mom. You can do it. So you can see again, she's not locking out. She wants to. She's getting close to it. But she's keeping that tension on. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Oh, she looks so happy. Good job. <laughs> so while she breathes and partially dies. <laughs> so, um, so again, we're using something heavy. In almost all gyms, the reason why we're picking this stuff is you can do this at uh, any gym. 
so I don't want to necessarily name the gyms. Um, not sure why, it just feels weird. So, other than Brutal Iron Gym, why would I ever tell you about a different gym than us? So, but if you do train somewhere else, <laughs> so, uh, they're going to have a hamstring curl machine, and they're going to have dumbbells. If they don't have those, then holy cow, you need to go to a different place. Uh, they're hopefully going to have a leg press. You might not be able to add bands to yours, that's okay. Just out of the whole platform area that you have available, put your feet hip width and narrow at the bottom. Like there, that's going to give you more quad focus rather than up and wide, which will be more hamstrings and glutes. Then any gym hopefully is going to have some plates you can stand on for your heels. And again, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. So the idea of this is you're looking for something that's, again, 20 seconds, pretty freaking miserable, and you're focusing on a slow eccentric. That's a stretch load effect of the muscle. We actually get more muscle damage when the muscle is loaded and being forced into a stretch than we do in the contraction. So that's why we're emphasizing, uh, emphasizing the eccentric. And then this is just a miserable pump effect. So this is an awesome superset you guys can do at any gym. So we'll give my mom a little bit more of a breath. Cardio. Yes, and it's tons of cardio too. So we'll give her a breath and then we'll come back and show you the final working set. Yeah. Okay, here we're back for another round. My mom's gonna do five reps with a five count eccentric. And again, the idea of these kind of structures um, in our monthly uh, giveaway for the podcast, like the exclusive content giveaway thing, we're including uh, programming structures like this, where we have the write-up educational just like video online on YouTube where I take like 20 minutes to teach you these structures. And then we also have example workouts and a whole bunch of stuff that's awesome for you guys. I want to kind of give you the guys these structures, these where it seems simple in the sense we're only going to use like two exercises, um, kind of like setting clear-cut rules and standards. And these workouts really only take about 30 minutes. And the reason why we're doing this, good job, Mom. So she's dying while I'm talking. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because it, I think it's helpful for everyone to learn like structures and formatting to your training. You can then plug in exercises and stuff that is available to you and that's right for your body types and strength levels. But it gives you format and gives you knowledge and confidence in your workouts. And I love giving you guys ones that are only about 30 minutes because you can either just use it for the 30 minutes and be done, or you can kind of take that cycle, double it, and get a full one hour workout. But it gives people the chance for a shorter workout, which is part of life. That's just the realization of life sometimes. So, I'm gonna watch my mom kind of finish up here. So, um, but yeah, so hopefully if you guys like these structures, we'll keep going. And um, please try these and give us some feedback on your thoughts. Like if you try them and you think they're uh, wonderfully miserable, <laughs> let us know. So she's doing a real good job. We're gonna give her 10 more seconds, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. She survived. Good. So, do you feel out of breath from these things? Oh, yes. <laughs> Do your muscles feel like they're burning like crazy? <laughs> oh, yes. this is really good. <laughs> good, good, good. Cool. So, if you give these, uh, hopefully the video helps. Um, we'll be making this uh, format actually our month uh, monthly giveaway program uh, for the podcast. So, if you'd like the written up format, uh, just check out the podcast, become a ten dollar donator, and we'll be sending you the uh, monthly email. If you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. Just take what you learn in these videos, write it down, and give it a try. <laughs>